The reputed leader of the notorious Gambino crime family was gunned down outside his home in Staten Island, New York. It was the first hit on a mob boss in 34 years. Units responding to shots fired of confirmed shot. Cops say Frank, Frankie Boy Cali, was shot in a hail of bullets. It's being reported that the suspect may have lured the mobster out by deliberately ramming into his car. He exits his residence, has a conversation with an individual where approximately 12 shots are fired, with at least six striking the victim, causing his demise. New York hasn't seen a headline like this in many years. Gambino boss whacked. The slaying is sending shockwaves through this neighborhood, which is considered one of the most exclusive on Staten Island. The neighborhood is also the location of MTV's controversial new reality show, Made in Staten Island, which follows teenagers, some who reportedly have family members in the mob. Former NYPD detective Tommy Hyland, an expert on the mafia, says this slaying feels personal. It surprises me that it was done in front of his house. Killing somebody in front of their house where the family is going to see them immediately is kind of a, a not very respectful thing to do. The Gambino crime family was once led by the legendary dapper Don himself, John Gotti, who died in federal prison in 2002. John Travolta recently played him in a biopic. You tell him hello from me. Gotti's daughter, Victoria, glammed up for a story that ran in the New York Times last month. Her uncle, Gene Gotti, was released from prison last year, where he served 29 years for running a heroin ring. One published report claimed Gene Gotti might demand he resume his role in the crime family. Given the potential organized crime element, are you concerned about retaliation or even a greater mob war restarting? If there are chances for future violence between our partners, us, we will make sure that there is a, you know, kept to a minimum, if you will.